Okay, good night, everyone. We are going to start another week of this course and we are going to begin day seven of this new course. So we are going to begin this session um, talking about the uh, listening part. Uh, before we were talking about uh, listening skills and how to prove them. So now we are going to- Good evening, uh, teacher. Good evening. We are going to talk about uh, the listening for gifts and detail. We are going to uh, develop um, some topic about a specific information that we are going to uh, listen because we need to, to uh, search information in uh, this kind of uh, skills. Eh, vamos a iniciar esta sesión con la parte de listening. Siempre estamos con la parte de listening. Pero ahora vamos a hablar listening for gist and detail. And in this case, gist in Spanish is like el punto esencial, síntesis, um, o eh, something, something very eh, specific. And in details, there are some details in the, in the speaking eh, process. So, we are going to start with something that I need you to help me. Vamos a hacer algo antes de comenzar. We are going to do a brainstorming. Um, in this case, uh, the brainstorming is uh, creating uh, some information uh, based on what you are going to say. And in this case, um, I have a question. I have a question for you. The question is, let's see. Why is it important to improve listening skills? It's important to improve listening skills. This is the question. Then we are going to create a, a brainstorming, una lluvia de ideas in this case. Um, so, the question, what is important to improve listening skills? ¿Por qué es importante mejorar la parte de listening, de, de lo que escuchamos? So, you will have some time to write something on the chat. You can write your ideas in the chat, and then I'm going to uh, read them. And then we are going to create the, uh, the brainstorming. Vamos a escribir en la cajita del chat eh, por qué es importante mejorar el, el listening skill. I will um, read the comments. Voy a leer los comentarios. Then I will create uh, the brainstorming. Voy a crear el brainstorming and I am going to add some ideas that I have that why is important to improve the, uh, the listening skill. So write something in the chat. Uh, about the improving of listening skills, then I will create the brainstorming with your ideas and my ideas, and then we are going to develop the, the topic. So you can write whatever you want in the comment section. So you have time, and then we are going to create the brainstorming. Pueden comenzar a escribir sus ideas de por qué es importante eh, mejorar el listening skill, and then I'm going to do the brainstorming. I have something here. Uh huh. Okay, we have two good uh, comments in the chat. And I'm going to wait some a message more and then we are going to use this uh, message for the brainstorming. Oh, that's very good. We had another one. Oh, that's that's very important. Okay. Oh, nice. That's very, very important. We are going to create a very, very good uh, brainstorming about this question.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Mm-hmm, good. Oh, amazing. Uh-huh. Interesting, interesting. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, we have a lot of uh, um comments about this a uh, question and those uh, response are very very important because it it's about how to improve the listening skills why it's important for us and it's very interesting so let's see we are going to uh, start with the brainstorming because that is the main activity let's see oh okay We're going to do it like this. I'm going to insert something like this, okay. So you can um, continue in, uh, writing your opinions and I am going to have something like that because we are going to create a theme the brainstorming. So, brainstorming, brainstorming. Okay, we have the ideas that you are writing in this comment sections. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin. We have some uh, things that you have say in, in the comment section. The first thing is to understand. To understand. Then uh -huh, we can understand people. Then okay, in this case, understand what they or people as us and answer correctly. Then we have another one. Okay, best pronunciation. Another one. I could have a better job, in this case, better job. I can speak with other people. From 
different countries. Uh, we can communicate with others. Then we have, we can speak better. I could know, it says I could know uh, other cultures. We can know more about other cultures. Here, the pronunciation of the words. Personal development. Then we have Uh, in this case, he said that we need to expand our languages. We're going to summarize like this. Expand, expand our vocabulary. And it says something very uh, useful that we need to use expression of daily use or that we can use in our daily life. And it's also for have more fluency. Fluency, ex, uh, speaking the language in the same way that we are going to familiarize ourselves with the language. In this case, it's for familiarize the uh, language with us. And it says learning new words. Improves pronunciation. It says that we can uh, improve the listening skills to have a conversation with a uh, American or in this case, it, um, people from the United States. And that's very important also because we are going to uh, understand what people is saying in the native uh, way in this case. It says the other one that is important because you can learn more and you can understand more. So in this case, it is for the learning process. It is for the learning. Learning process. Then we have another one for better pronunciation and understanding of the English language. Uh -huh, understanding of the language. Ah, something very important like this. Also, that can help us, uh, help us when we are lost in a place where they all speak English, okay? In another country. To understand the instructions, ah, to understand to understand instructions. Okay, thanks to all of you that have participated in the in answering the question. So we have a lot of things here. We can uh, improve the listening skills to understand the language, to understand what people are saying, to understand maybe some lyrics and some other things. Also, it says understand what they ask us and answer correctly. That's very important because um, people uh, tend to ask things. For example, when foreign people comes to the country, they ask 
for instructions. So in the case that we are learning English and we can say some things in English, we can help those peoples that comes to the, um, the country as a tourist and we can uh, help them answering the questions. Then best pronunciation, that's very important because we are going to um, find a pronunciation that suits us and we are going to uh, improve our speaking skills also. Then we can speak better. That's very important. It is that very true. Uh, hear different pronunciation of the words, uh, listening different people talking. It's better for us to uh, listen the pronunciation of different words because uh, we are not like, um, we can hear some words and we can say, mm, I don't think that is the best uh, pronunciation that I like. And we can uh, search different people from different countries and compare the, the pronunciation of the words. Expand our vocabulary. That's very true because we uh, listen words and say, mm, what those word means? And I want to understand what they are saying because if you know that in uh, different countries has those uh, phrases that are specific for their languages. So they use a uh, very, very common and maybe we can understand because we are not familiar with that. Eh, existen unas frases, así como las que nosotros usamos en nuestro país, que son específicas de cada región de cada país, que son los idioms, que son eh, esas frases que, que, que a veces dicen una cosa, pero significan otra. And in English, there are a lot of idioms that maybe we can eh, tend to make us very lost because there are eh, idioms that refers to something else. En este caso, cuando escuchamos los idioms, a veces podemos pensar que están hablando de una cosa, pero se refieren a otra. Así como acá que utilizamos frases para referirnos a ciertas cosas, pues en, en, en inglés también existen. Eh, fluency, very, very true. Eh, it helps us when we are, we are, when we are lost. Oh, I have two of these. So it helps us when we are lost in another country. That's very useful in this case because maybe we want to travel or uh, for our jobs, we are going to travel to another country. And if we have basic level or in this case, pre-intermediate, or we can um, pronunciate some uh, phrases in English and we can understand what people is saying. It's very useful when we are lost in other country and people talk in English because we can ask for instructions or for directions to find the places. Es muy importante que cuando viajemos pues tengamos un nivel de inglés que nos permita comunicarnos con otros porque así si llegamos a tener un percance, un accidente o nos perdemos en ese país, pues vamos a buscar a una persona que nos pueda ayudar. Y al hablar en inglés, pues obviamente tenemos mucha ventaja a la hora de eh, encontrarnos en otros lugares. Then, better job. That's very true. In some cases, because we are going to travel another country for our jobs and we can improve our uh, jobs in this moment because we are learning English and in some cases we can find another job that is better than the previous one. Then I can speak with other people from different countries. This is, is about the communication and um, being very social because we are going to create a, a relationship with people of other countries. We can communicate with others. Also, that's very important because we can find uh, people from the United States, UK, Canada, and some countries that speak in English and we can communicate with them. We can know more about other cultures. Of course, it is interesting to learn about culture. And if we speak English, we can read um, some information about other cultures. Also, we can uh, watch some documentaries that maybe uh, in our country is just in English because 
that's the main language that they use. And if we want to know something about that culture, we can easily uh, watch the uh, documentary and understand what they are saying. Also, personal development, of course. Uh, learning new words, the vocabulary is very important because we are creating the vocabulary and we have uh, this uh, database that we are upgrading every day, adding new words that we can use when we are talking. Um, it is for the learning process. Of course, we are learning something like in Spanish, we are learning to talk and we are learning to express our ideas in another language. Understanding of the language, of course, we need to understand uh, what is the language about and to uh, express better in this language and to understand instructions. That's very, very useful because in some cases, we have the instructions for our words or for um, devices in English, and we can easily understand what the instruction is about, and we can perform better our actions. So, para la primera parte del de brainstorming, eh, donde estamos hablando de por qué es bueno que eh, mejoremos nuestro listening skill, you give very, very interesting eh, responses. Ustedes dieron muy buenas eh, respuestas, muy interesantes, y que son muy eh, uh, apegadas a lo que estamos eh, tratando de aprender. That's very, very important. But in the case, what are my, my responses for this question? So, just a quick answer. Um, to find important information in English, because in this case, we are going to talk about um, the topic. Let's see. Let's move from the top. Listening for gifts and details. So in this case, when we are listening in English, we can find, if we understand the language, we can find important information. Then to understand people while talking. Three, to establish a relationship. Four, to improve language acquisition. Five, to learn how to pronounce words correctly that you have said before. And then to acquire vocabulary, you also say that. Then we have to watch TV series. This is for fun. This is for the, fun, the funny part. To watch TV series without subtitles. Esto es más que todo para la diversión, para la parte de la diversión, de nuestro momento de, de, de relax. Um, ver películas, series, programas, eh, documentales in English without subtitles. Uh, porque a veces um, we have some uh, interesting document, documentaries or TV series or TV shows that we want to watch, but they don't have subtitles. And in this case, when we understand what we are listening, we can watch it without subtitles and it is funny. Then to meet new people, you say that it's very important to meet new people. And the last one, to have better job opportunities that some of you said that it is for better jobs opportunities. Then we are going to develop the topic, listening for gifts and details. After that, we have this uh, answer for the question. We are going to develop this part. So listening is one of the four main skills which are taught in English classes. In this case, when we are in courses like this, we have four macro skills, listening, speaking, uh, reading, and writing. La parte de listening, de escuchar, la parte del speaking, de hablar, la parte de reading, de leer, y la parte de writing, de escribir, the four macro skills in English. So, listening is a receptive skill which helps people learn more vocabulary and improve their pronunciation. In this case, it is the receptive. We are receiving information into the brain um, in this case, uh, we learn more vocabulary because we are adding those information 
to the brain, then we are going to produce. But in this case, it is acquisition, acquisition and acquisition. Now, it is the time to discuss two important listening strategies. And we are going to write like this. What is listening for geese? Okay, what is listening for geese? It says that geese is defined as the most Okay, this is defined as the most important piece of information about something or general information without details. Esta primera parte es como una de las piezas importantes de información. We have an important piece, something very important. Tenemos una pieza muy importante de información o tenemos información general pero sin detalles. It's like um, something very general. Nosotros tenemos la información general, no tenemos detalle, pero tenemos algo en concreto sobre esa información. In the context of language, eh, learning and teaching, GIS is defined as the general meaning or purpose of a text, either written or spoken. So, for the teaching and learning, para la eh, enseñanza o para el aprendizaje, whatever it is. Um, in this case, this is defined as the general meaning or purpose of a text. Este es el, el significado general o el propósito de un texto, ya sea escrito o ya sea hablado. So, listening for this is when the learner tries to understand what is happening even if he or she can understand every phrase on sentence. In this case, is when we are trying to figure out what is the topic about. En este caso es cuando tratamos de entender, de figurar qué es lo que está pasando sin que podamos entender todo lo que está en el texto, todo lo que está en la conversación. Estamos tratando de entender qué está pasando. So, we have here, listening or gist is when the learner tries to understand what is happening even if he or she can understand every phrase or sentence. It's creating like, um, we can say we create a general idea of what is happening in that case. So maybe we can understand everything that is the people is saying, but we are creating an idea or our general idea about the topic. Uh, for example, we are uh, listening to a conversation uh, in a restaurant. Maybe they are like fighting or they are discussing something. And we try to understand what they are saying because they are very loud. In those cases, we are uh, creating a this kind of listening, listening for this, because we can understand uh, all the information, but we are creating uh, something. Then it says, the learner is trying to pick up keywords, important keywords, 
we are going to uh, use keywords, intonation, and other clues to make a guess at the meaning. We need keywords, palabras claves, to understand the meaning of the, the conversation. Also, the intonation, la intonación de las palabras. Eh, the, if someone is talking very loud, very low, very, very, it sounds like angry, it sounds like sad. And when we are going to use those details to create um, the information that we need. So it says then that we have some details that we need to uh, search in the conversation. The learner is trying to pick up keywords. For example, when we are uh, doing some exercises uh, of uh, listening and we have some uh, questions, let me see. We have a question about dogs, for example. We are listening something about dogs and we have some question. What is the color of the dog? Maybe. Uh, the age, uh, how old is the dog, uh, or maybe what is the name of the owner? When we have the questions and then we are listening to the information, we can search for keywords, not all the information or not all the, the words that the people is saying. We are uh, searching for keywords to find the information that we need to answer those questions. Then the intonation. And other clues to make a guess. In this case, this word is, is, is necessary to explain at the meaning. In this case, we are not understanding everything, but we are guessing that word is important. No estamos entendiendo todo lo que se está diciendo. Estamos adivinando. That is the meaning of guess, adivinar. So, in that case, when we are uh, searching for keywords, cuando estamos buscando las keywords, we can guess the topic, the meaning, the main idea of the topic. So, we are uh, searching for details that help us to guess what is the speaking or the speaker talking about? So that's the way we do it. Then it says, for, for example, words such as cap, towel. Let's see this example. Words as cap, towel, Waves, sports, and sunny. We have those words, cap, towel, waves, sports, and sunny. When we listen to those words in a conversation, we know that they are talking about a beach trip. The beach. Exactly. We are listening something about the beach because we have some clues, we have some keywords. And in this case, when we are listening those words, we, need, we uh, think, mm, they have a cup, they have a towel, oh, there are waves, ah, they are the beach. Those keywords help us to understand the uh, context of the, uh, the, the sentences. Maybe we're talking about um, butterflies, we are talking about plants. We are going to talk about rocks, mountain. We are talking about a trip to the mountain or to the nature. So in that case, when we are using some words, we can understand the context of the uh, conversation. So, palabras claves así como esas. No es que vamos a buscar nosotros eh, en clave morse o algo por el estilo, no. Palabras claves que nos ayuden a entender en qué contexto están, en qué lugar, de qué están hablando, cuál es el tema principal de la conversación. Y 
son palabras así como esas que nos llevan a pensar en la playa y que nosotros sabemos que están teniendo una conversación sobre la playa. So, in that case, eh, the keywords help us to understand the topic. Then, sometimes finding the keys can be easy because it is, is found at the beginning of the passage, but sometimes it is not too easy and it is necessary to listen to the whole conversation to understand its general meaning. A veces encontramos eh, los detalles, ¿verdad? O la parte importante de la conversación al principio. Y como a veces no le ponemos tanta atención a esa parte, se nos escapa. Y escuchamos toda la información y we don't understand anything. But sometimes it's hard to find this uh, gift because it is in the middle of the conversation and we are paying attention, but sometimes we see a fly and then we lost focus and we um, lost the concentration and we don't and understand anything. So it's depending on the level, I guess. Dependiendo del, del nivel en el que estamos o el nivel de, de um, que queramos nosotros eh, practicar, no va a pasar que a veces vamos a encontrar esos detalles al inicio de la conversación donde nos dan como una, una pauta para entender de qué trata la conversación, pero hay otras que no, que nos van a hacer estar pegados de los audífonos, del listening, del audio, and that we need to uh, understand what they are saying and find the clues, but that's depending on the level. Then we have some question that we can use to find this information. So, let's see. So in this case, we can ask this question when we are listening something, and it is uh, easier to find the information when we use this kind of questions to find the information that we are searching. So number one, what is the subject? What is the subject of the passage? Number two, what problem are they discussing? Number three, what does the speaker think about the topic? Number four, what the what's the topic of the passage? Number five, look at the pictures. What are the speakers talking about? In this case is when we have some visual aids that we can uh, see because they are helping us to understand uh, the information. Number six. What is the main idea of the passage? Number seven. What's the main, what's the purpose of the passage? And number eight, what's the main point? Uh, 
Okay, those questions help us to find the information and to keep on focusing on the conversation. Uh, for example, what is the subject of the passage? We are uh, searching for the subject. Then what problem are they discussing? Maybe they are on a hospital. Maybe they are on a store. Maybe they are teachers that are talking about the students. Um, maybe they are uh, workers in a factory. And when we find those information, we uh, can uh, um, create a, 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 an image about the, the space that the people is using. Then what does the speaker think about the topic? Maybe um, the speaker thinks that it's something more or something very interesting or thinks that something is going wrong and we can uh, think about the speaker. Then what's the topic of the passage? This is dividing the, the, um, the information. Uh, for example, we have different passages and we can divide them. What is the meaning or what is uh, the topic for this one? Maybe they are talking about cops. Um, we can say, oh, this is about the different kind of calls. And we can divide the, the passages and the, the stages of the conversation. And we can have the information in, um, in some place. Then we have, look at the picture. In this case, is when we have some uh, visual aids or help to understand what the, the people are saying. In this case, we have some, some pictures without uh, the bubbles of conversation. And we just have people doing something. And in that case, uh, we have those images to create an idea about uh, the passage or the conversation. Then what is the main idea of the passage? What is the main idea? Not just the topic, the main idea. Then the purpose, what is the purpose? What the passage wants to it provide and the last one what is the main point there are different things so estas preguntas nos van a ayudar a crear mejor información porque nos van a dar eh, pistas de lo que trata la conversación nos hace dividir la conversación en diferentes etapas y al dividir las etapas vamos a ir sacando nuevas ideas sobre la información o sobre la conversación de que estamos escuchando o estamos teniendo. Then there are some examples about the, the activities for listening for guests. And let's see, they are very interesting. We have in the number one, we have the warmers, que son los calentamientos o son los, los de entrada. And it says, that we have to show some pictures, yeah? We have to show some pictures related to the topic and we are going to ask uh, to the person that it's seen the, the pictures, what is the, uh, the topic of the things that we are going to say? For example, we have two pictures of people doing something and we're going to ask the, the students in this case, what they think about the pictures. Then we're going to read some uh, lines from the listening passage and ask students to tell you what they think the listening is about. In this case, we're using the visual aids. Um, Para esta parte de las actividades, de las propuestas de actividades que se pueden hacer en el caso de las personas que están aprendiendo inglés, es esta donde mostramos dos imágenes diferentes de personas haciendo eh, una acción determinada y se pregunta eh, qué están haciendo o qué piensan de las imágenes. Y se toman ciertas partes de la conversación, se leen en voz alta, se repiten y se, pregunta, se le pregunta a los demás de qué creen que trata la conversación. And in that case, it's um, because uh, we did this kind of uh, activities because we are going to um, 
quick, the, 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 the interesting of the topic. Vamos a, a despertar el interés de la persona que va a escuchar la conversación a que ponga atención. Because we are creating something in their minds when we um, show the images and ask for, um, for the information that we think is going to happen in the conversation. Then we have what is listening for detail. We have the listening for gifts. Now we are going to develop the part of what is listening for detail. What is listening for details? Que es escuchar por detalles. This is more specific. So, listening for details. Refers. Okay, in this case, what is listening for details? Listening for details refers to the type of listening we do in which we can't afford to ignore anything because we don't know exactly what information of the listening passage will be necessary to complete the task. In this case it is for a, this kind of listening in which we have to listening carefully all the information because Later on, we are going to use uh, many of this information to answer some questions or to develop an, a task. So, escuchar por detalle o para encontrar detalles es cuando nosotros escuchamos toda la conversación porque no sabemos exactamente qué información vamos a necesitar de esa conversación para completar una tarea para uh, eh, responder eh, algunas preguntas o something like that. So in this case, is listening everything because we are not very sure what is the information that we are going to need. Then this term is sometimes confused with listening for a specific information, which is applied to occasion in which we don't have to understand everything that's been said but only a very specific part. Tenemos otro tipo de listening, que es el listening for a specific information. El listening for a specific information eh, lo podemos confundir porque estamos en este, que es para encontrar detalles, y el otro es para escuchar espe eh, información específica. And the third eh, way to this kind of listening, it is not necessary to listen everything in a conversation because we are going to search a specific parts of the conversation to complete some task and for us answer some uh, questions. So we are going uh, to develop another topic because this kind of topics about listening is not very, very long. And we end at this part of the listening. Now we are going to begin or we are going to enter the uh, other um, topic. And we are going to create 
a vocabulary. Vamos a crear un vocabulario. Eh, vamos a eh, add new words to our English vocabulary that it's very, very useful uh, for the future and when we are going to travel, maybe, or when we are going to teach uh, this vocabulary. So we are going to develop this topic, but in this case, we have some minutes to begin with this topic. And then we are going to end the vocabulary in the next uh, session that is uh, tomorrow. But now we are going to see what is the vocabulary about. So we have here geography, vocabulary. So we are going to create vocabulary about the earth and components of this planet. Vamos a crear un vocabulario sobre geografía. Vamos a hablar de los componentes de la Tierra and some other words that are related to Earth and this planet that is very useful. So, we are going to create a vocabulary, but in this case, eh, we are just eh, begin with the topic and tomorrow we are going to develop the whole thing. So. We are going to say something about geography because we are going to talk about this. So, for the beginning, geography is the study. This is something that we already know. This is the study of Earth's surface. Any human activities. Related with it, related with geography includes a study of weather. terrestrial landforms and people's relation with this. In this topic, we are going to remember our days uh, learning about the earth forms and all of that in a one subject that we um, study in the school. Um, nos vamos a sentir como en sociales. Vamos a, a, a estudiar sociales in this case, because we are going to talk about this a kind of vocabulary. And we have here, here geography is the study of earth surface and human activities related with it. Vamos a hablar de la superficie de la tierra y las actividades humanas, because we're going to talk about geography. Then it says geography includes the study of weather. Vamos a estudiar el clima o words related to weather. Vamos a buscar eh, palabras que estén relacionadas con el clima. Terrestrial landforms. Vamos a hablar también de las formas que tiene eh, la superficie terrestre and people's relation with this. Y algunas relaciones de las personas con este tipo de conjuntos en la tierra. So, we are going to begin with the list. We are going to create a list. In this case, we are just uh, going to write the list and then we are going to search for the uh, translation of these words. So, in this, five or four minutes, we are going to start writing the list. Then tomorrow we are going to talk about the words and the meaning in Spanish to understand better these words. So don't worry, we are going just to write some words of this list. The number one is the important one because it is about the topic that is geography. 
then we have a bay. Maybe you know more, um, a lot of these words, but that's okay. Beach, cave, creek, desert. In this case, we have to be very um, uh, careful with this word because we have dessert, that is something to eat. And we have desert that is uh, the extension of um, land that is very uh, hot in there. So we have to be very careful with the pronunciation. Earth, forest, hill, island, Lake, mountain, ocean, peak, plains, pond, river, sea, a stream. Swamp, valley, waterfall. There are very common words in this list. So tomorrow, just we are going to explain something about this this list. Woods, or Check. Then we are going to um, do an exercise, but that is tomorrow. State earthquake. Earthquake temperature. Capital. Climate. And coast. So we are going to uh, in this list here. I have a lot of words uh, that we are going to write uh, tomorrow. But then, um, it's almost time to end the session, but I need to say something. Um, you need to work in the platform because uh, it's there in the place that we are going to know if you are understanding the topics or are working on this uh, course. Tienen que trabajar en la plataforma. Eh, sé que muchos puede que se atrasen por sus trabajos o por cosas que tienen que hacer en el día, but uh, you need to work in the platform because if you don't do it, you can have your, um, si ustedes no lo hacen, no van a poder tener la certificación. And you already know that because I think that is not the first time that you have this kind of course. So if you have uh, some troubles with the platform, you can uh, ask in the group of WhatsApp and someone is going to help you. Um, but you need to work and do um, as much as you want. Pueden hacer todo lo que ustedes quieran en la plataforma. No es necesario que vayan un tema, un, eh, un día, un tema, un día, un tema. Si tienen tiempo libre, una hora que, que puedan trabajar en la plataforma, ustedes pueden avanzar todo lo que quieran. Eh, en el caso de los que van atrasados, eh, if you can um, work in the platform to be on date, eh, because time eh, flies and you will not have enough time to end the exercises in the platform. Recuerden que el tiempo vuela y nos vamos a quedar sin tiempo si no nos ponemos al día con las actividades que deberíamos de llevar en la semana. Acuérdense que los viernes es cuando se tienen que entregar por lo menos las secciones verdad, completas. Así que si pueden avanzar en la plataforma, háganlo y este, si tienen problemas pueden comunicarse al grupo de WhatsApp y alguien nos va a orientar.
Así que no se, no se sientan preocupados por eso. So, tomorrow we are going to end this vocabulary of geography. And we are going to end the session here. And we are going to see each other tomorrow. So have a good night and see you tomorrow in the session number eight. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Gracias. Good night. See you tomorrow.